Hi, my name is Gary Brown. I'm a senior consultant at Mountain Point, and today I'm going to take you through a quick demo of sales agreement functionality in Salesforce Manufacturing Cloud. Manufacturing Cloud is a collaborative platform to help improve sales forecasting accuracy by combining sales agreements and opportunities into an account-based forecast. You can also forecast for products and programs. Manufacturing Cloud includes robust analytics, a community for collaborative forecasting with your partners, and rebate management functionality. Today, we're going to go through sales agreements, which are basically your run rate business. You may know them as supply agreements with certain customers or supply contracts. Right now, I'm showing you one for a company called Omega Incorporated, sales agreement Omega number five. It shows the status of the agreement. It's activated. It could also be in draft or it could be canceled. It shows the start and end date, the frequency of the agreement, and the agreement amount. Here we have the products. So you can have up to 1,500 products per agreement. Your metrics, which would be in this case your plan quantity for the amount of the agreement. This is monthly in this case. Your actuals, what your sales price is for this product, what your rolled up amount is, and then your forecast by month. Notice that in the actual quantity here, you're bringing in information from your ERP to show your actual sales versus your forecast which in turn you can adjust based on the feedback that you're getting either from your customer or from the orders that are in the system simply by hitting that pencil for edit functionality or hitting the edit button on the agreement itself. One thing to notice that you're looking at here on the screen is some of the standard objects that come with Salesforce like accounts, contacts, and opportunities, and some of the objects that are unique to manufacturing cloud like advanced account forecasting, sales agreements, and account manager targets. So let's show how to create a sales agreement. You can create them in two ways. First way is through opportunities. Simply, you just create a sales opportunity. Once you get to a certain stage of close one, you can automatically hit a button that will create that sales agreement for you automatically, schedule the products, provided you have an opportunity schedule. The other way to do it is just do it manually, which I'm going to show you now. Create a new sales agreement, hit that button. Name it. That's a best 20. Start date, so I'm going to use September 1st. Schedule count, I'm going to do it for 12 months. So you can see my frequency. It will automatically default to the end. I'm going to bring in the sales history or the sales order information automatically from direct orders, but also do it through an API upload as an example. I'm going to access my price book so I can add my products. I'll save that. Okay, so I've created the sales agreement SA Test 20. Next thing I want to do is access that agreement and add my products. So I'll find the agreement. And there it is, SA Test 20. Click on it. You can see so far I have some things here. My status is draft. It will always start in draft until it's approved to be activated. Got my start and my end date, my schedule frequency. I don't have an amount yet because I haven't added the products, which I'm going to do now. Okay, I click the add products button. I'm going to add a high capacity battery and an energy meter. I'll hit next. I put in my quantities, the length of the agreement, 120 here. 40 here it defaults the list if i want to discount off list i can do that here i'm going to take 10 percent off the battery high capacity i'll save that i've agreed i've updated my sales agreement product records and as you can see here my sales agreement has been created it has the quantity rolled up the 120 to 240 and then allocated by month i can easily change that if i want to it extends out my sales price per unit and my planned amount. Once we start getting actual orders in, you'll see that actual quantity metric get populated. So quite simply, this is the quick version of how to create a sales agreement. It's a critical component of manufacturing cloud. In addition, opportunities rolled up into that account-based forecasting, which we'll show you in another installment, as well as some of the really cool, robust analytics. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.